it's an interesting question, who in history do I most admire? I mean, obviously they're the great Islamic heroes you know, that I wrote about in my novel. There's Prophet Muhammad, there's Aisha, there's, there's Ali, these great figures. But I'm actually going to give an example that, com that I think many of, of uh, my readers will hopefully know from a more, uh, more contemporary time, about 150 years ago. Uh, I actually have tremendous admiration for man Andrew Carnegie. Uh, the great, the great industrialist, who was, uh, you know, he was, came over from Scotland as a young man, impoverished, and rose up from nothing, working in a factory floor, ended up becoming this great industrialist who transformed Western civilization, became literally the wealthiest man in the world, and then spent the rest of his life giving it away to charity. He set up many of the libraries in the United States, and many of the great cultural and arts institutions, universities, and I look at that man, Andrew Carnegie, now he was a Christian and I'm a Muslim, and yet we share this bond of, of spirituality of what the purpose of life I think should be about, which is become successful, maximize your potential, and then share it back with humanity. And so Andrew Carnegie is really someone in more recent days that, that's really one of the men I truly admire.